This morning, a blimp is hovering over the Baltimore suburbs. It's the newest system from the Army to protect major cities along the East Coast from cruise missiles or large drones. Chip Reed is in White Marsh, Maryland, looking at the blimp and fears it could be used for other purposes. Chip, this is really interesting. Good morning. Yeah, well, good morning. And there it is over my left shoulder. It's hard to tell from here, but that blimp is massive. It just kind of appeared out of nowhere several weeks ago, and some people in this area are wondering if they're being watched. Everybody knows their positions? At the U.S. Army's Aberdeen Proving Ground in Maryland, soldiers were practicing the complicated choreography of launching an unmanned blimp nearly as long as a football field. Captain Matt Villa. Every time I see it take off, it literally is like the first time. It's that amazing. It takes your breath away. Yeah, it really does. When it's up in the air, it is like a literally uh, like a balloon on a string. That string is barely an inch thick and almost two miles long. Made of Kevlar, it's designed to keep the blimp in place even in hurricane force winds. To passing motorists on I-95 about 10 miles away, it looks like a floating white whale and has thousands of people wondering, what in the world is it doing there? We asked Colonel Frank Rice. It's an, a three-year NORAD exercise that, uh, that is going to test the integration of this into our uh, missile defense system. If the exercise goes as planned, in about three years, the blimp will be approved for permanent duty, scanning the sky for incoming cruise missiles. The state-of-the-art radar housed in that bubble underneath has a range of 340 miles, from Boston all the way to North Carolina. We are the, uh, in, the, in the NCR, the National Capital Region, is, uh, is our geopolitical center of, uh, uh, of power for the United States. We have to protect it. He says threats could potentially include missiles launched from a Russian aircraft or submarine or by terrorists from a hijacked container ship. Eventually, there will be two blimps. This blimp would be to detect any cruise missiles Correct. coming in. Correct. The other blimp would be to do what? To target missile defense to that threat. Do we have that missile defense in place? Yes, we do. Can you tell us all about that? I cannot. I had a feeling you were going to say that. Similar blimps have been used on the Mexican border to detect smugglers and in Afghanistan, but those are equipped with cameras, and that has some people alarmed. Ginger McCall is with the Electronic Privacy Information Center. People who live in the shadow of this blimp are concerned. What do they tell you? That they are very unhappy that this thing is here. They're, it bothers them to look up into the sky and see it looking back at them. So people who are worried about being spied on by this eye in the sky, what do you say to them? They have absolutely nothing to worry about. Nothing? Uh, nothing to worry about, no. Uh, there is no, like I said, there is no cameras on board and there is nothing that can look at any individual person. We read that answer to McCall. Does that answer satisfy you? No, not at all. Why because not? Because I have these documents right here that say, that uh, the secondary purpose of this is to surveil and track surface moving targets. She obtained the documents through a lawsuit under the Freedom of Information Act. Even without the video surveillance, these blimps are designed to track and to surveil surface moving targets. That is people, it's cars, it's individuals going about their daily lives. The Army insists they have no plans to use that blimp to spy on Americans. But after all those revelations about NSA spying, some people in this area and civil liberties groups say they are skeptical at best. And let me show you one other amazing thing about this blimp. That is one serious piece of high technology. But take a look at the system they've rigged up to knock ice off the blimp. A slingshot, a technology that was around at the time of David and Goliath. Yeah. Boy, it. Chip, thanks. It's an amazing piece of machinery when you look at it, and then something as simple as a slingshot. Yeah. But if the Army was using it to spy, they're not going to say, yes, we're spying. Right. A lot of surveil. Yeah, a lot surveil. of surveil. You're right, Nora. <laughs> a lot of interesting questions raised in that piece. Thank you, Chip.